Identity security is essential to proactively reducing risk, yet securing the expanding number and types of identities, let alone developing an identity security vision, isn't always the easiest task. The CyberArk Blueprint for Identity Security Success is designed to ease this burden by delivering a framework of simple prescriptive guidance designed to measurably reduce risks and defend against attacks. The CyberArk Blueprint focuses on defending against three common attack chain stages that are used to steal data and wreak havoc. This focus is referred to as the CyberArk Blueprint's guiding principles, namely preventing credential theft, stopping lateral and vertical movement, and limiting privilege escalation and abuse. Here's a look at those three guiding principles in action. First, any identity can become privileged under certain conditions. That's why nearly 100% of all advanced attacks today rely on the exploitation of privileged identities and their credentials to reach a business's most sensitive data and infrastructure. To keep both external and internal adversaries from accessing your keys to the kingdom, you must first prevent theft of critical credentials, such as infrastructures as service admins or domain admins that could be used to conduct network takeover attacks or compromise key infrastructure. By implementing security controls such as passwordless authentication, session isolation, credential theft detection and blocking, as well as removing hard-coded credentials from highly privileged third-party applications, you can protect these powerful accounts and rapidly drive down risk. Once an attacker has gained a foothold, however, they'll likely move through your infrastructure in hopes of either stealing even more privileged credentials or landing on a system that will suit their end goals, be that data extraction or damage to the organization. This movement can occur laterally, such as from a workstation to a workstation, or vertically, perhaps from a workstation to a domain controller or a cloud console, which are two of the worst case scenarios. To stop threat actors pivoting from non-trusted devices to high-value cloud consoles or domain controllers, we look to apply controls like enforcement of just-in-time and non-persistent access, session isolation, and credential randomization to break the attack chain. With privileged credentials in hand, attackers abuse those privileges or seek to escalate their level of privilege even further in order to steal financial data, personally identifiable information, and other types of sensitive data. Alternatively, or perhaps even in addition to, they can also look to disrupt business processes with the compromised privilege credentials. To limit privilege elevation and abuse, it's important to implement well-established and strong least privilege controls, behavioral analytics, and adaptive response. With that said, in some cases, attackers don't even need to move laterally or vertically to steal additional credentials, either because the initially compromised account already had enough privilege to meet the attacker's needs, or the residue of a sufficiently privileged account was found on the initial entry point. The three guiding principles we just covered will guide our security control recommendations, which will ultimately be addressed in five sequential stages, helping you prioritize quick wins to achieve rapid risk reduction, progressively address advanced use cases, and align security controls to your organization's digital transformation efforts. Ready to take your first step towards building a successful identity security program? Click here to start designing your identity security roadmap today.